Hi, hello. So if you're new here or you don't already know, my name's Jackie and thanks for joining me for what is going to be a try on review haul of some Buff Bunny collection items that are still available on the Canadian website as of right now. All right, so Heidi Summers, the owner of Buff Bunny Collection, has actually been dropping some hints on Instagram that Buff Bunny is about to do an athletic wear drop in about two-ish weeks. I don't think they've released an official date, but they have kind of said two weeks, which is kind of crazy because just last weekend they launched their swimwear line. So from swimwear line to athletic wear launch, and that just having kind of two weeks in between is insane. That's like a back-to-back -back drop. But she did say that 2020 was going to be all about back-to-back -back drops, so guess she wasn't lying. But on that note, I figured with the athletic wear drop coming up soon, obviously when new product launches, anything that's still in stock on the website, you can also still buy. So I looked at our Canadian website and what was still available in a variety of sizes, and I thought we would talk about those items today, and therefore if you want to stock up on them now or at the next launch, you can, because there's still quite a bit of them left. So. Hopefully this review will be informative because Buff Bunny doesn't actually have stores so you can't just go like try this on anywhere. So hopefully what I tell you about these and my experiences with them will help make you make an informed decision if you like it, if you don't like it, either way. I also feel like I should mention just like I did in my last video, which I will link here or here. I forget where YouTube lets you do it, but hopefully you're seeing a link somewhere up here. I am in no way affiliated with Buff Bunny. I bought all of these things with my own money, so if you choose to buy anything from them or don't choose to buy anything from them, it literally doesn't affect me. I just really enjoy talking about cute activewear and hence why I'm making this video. So let's get into it. Okay, so I feel like I should explain what I mean when I'm saying Canadian Buff Bunny website. So January of 2020, Buff Bunny opened a Canadian distribution center. And I believe that's in Ontario, if I recall correctly. So that Canadian distribution center has certain levels of stock that are reflected on buffbunny.ca, our Canadian website. So what you see on buffbunny.ca is what we have at the Canadian distribution center. So when you order off buffbunny.ca, your items are already in Canada. So the website is in Canadian dollars. We have faster shipping within Canada. You have free shipping over a certain threshold dollar amount. I think it's 150 bucks. And then also, you know you won't get hit with duties since your package is coming from Ontario to wherever you are in Canada. On the flip side of that, there's buffbunny.com. And that's, I call it the American site, but really it's everybody. So everybody that's not in Canada shops off that site, regardless of where you are. And so head office is in Texas. I believe their distribution center is as well. So basically the stock on buffbunny.com reflects what's available at the distribution center in Texas. So that's why you'll see some things are available on buffbunny.com and not available on buffbunny.ca or the reverse. So if you live in Canada, you can order off both sites. The only difference is if you order off the American slash international site, uh, you'll have to pay the conversion from American dollars to Canadian. Shipping will probably take a bit longer and you might get hit paying duties, but you can still order off their website. All right, so we are going to start with their most recent launch, which was March 14th for Heidi Summer's birthday. And that launched for the athletic wear, they launched their Rosa sets. So those were leggings, the Rosa leggings with a Rosa bra. We're not gonna talk about the sports bra because they're basically sold out, so that's not fair. But we will talk about their leggings. So they came in this beautiful true red color called Salsa. And then this is Indigo, which is like a really bright, pretty blue. And then they also launched in the color Onyx, which is black. So if you follow any of their models or athletes or anyone that like kind of reviews Buff Bunny activewear, you'll notice that they compare the Rosa leggings a lot of the time to like a Lululemon Align. And like, no. <laughs> like I own an embarrassing amount of Align leggings like CEO of Align Leggings right here. And like, they're not the same, but that's a good thing. So the roses are made out of a Buff Bunny's fabric called Nubre. And so they do have quite a few items in the Nubre fabric. It is super soft, 100%, but it is not the same kind of soft as a Lulu Align. So if you're familiar with a Lulu Align, when you touch them, they're almost like a silky soft. Like they've almost got that like satiny finish, 
Whereas the Rosa leggings are more of like a traditional, what you would think of if someone is like, oh, these leggings are really soft. You're probably thinking more of this material. But people do compare them to the Aligns. Like I said, I don't think they're that similar. But basically, for comparison's sake, a Lulu Align, so like great material for like lounging, yoga, kind of low intensity activities. They're super soft and have that like naked sensation, but like zero compression. If you are trying to hide anything, you're not gonna do that wearing Lulu Aligns. They are not gonna hide anything. Whereas the Buff Bunny Rosa leggings, so this material, again, still super soft, but I feel like the material is a lot more durable than a Lulu Align. And at the same time, these do actually offer some compression, which if that's what you're into is nice. But like in reality, so I would never wear, I never do wear my aligns to the gym. They're a delicate material. They're not made for high intensity workouts. It just causes them to pill faster. And like, that's not what they were made for. So I don't wear my Lulu aligns to the gym because that's bad news bears. But my roses, I basically wear to the gym. I guess I can't say wear to the gym since we're all quarantining with COVID. I wear it to my home gym, aka this exact spot I'm sitting in, at least once a week and I have zero issues with them. Like I said, they do offer a bit of compression, which is nice. So they are super nice and simple for a legging. So the threading on them matches whatever color they are so it doesn't stand out. Some brands like to do like the contrasting stitching, which I mean can be hit or miss. It's not an issue here. If you look at the back, so the stitching on the back is done to contour your glue to go right above it. And then you have the super simple reflective Buff Bunny logo on the back as well. So another thing I feel like I should mention is like, I am living for these bright colors. Like I love both of these so much, but not everyone does like bright colors. So if you want, you can go on to the regular buffbunny.com, the American international website, and they do have some other colors in these from previous launches, like before 2020. So if I recall correctly, they still have cinnamon, hustle print, which is like a black and white print, and the color raspberry. So if you're not feeling these, you can always default to buffbunny.com and stock up on some more neutral tones. So now we are gonna go back in time one more launch to actually what was the first launch on the Canadian website. And that was called the Girls Night In and that dropped, I think it was January 25th. So I want to start with my favorite Buff Bunny item literally ever. Like, this is my favorite product that Buff Bunny has ever made in all of everything I've ever tried from them. And so I think it's kind of crazy. If you watch any of their other like athletes or affiliates or models or like anyone that just like reviews their product. I feel like this, <laughs> these leggings do not get remotely anywhere near the hype that they deserve. Like these are my favorite leggings, not even my favorite leggings, my favorite product Buff Bunny has ever done. And I just feel like they're under hyped and they deserve more hype. So that's the vibe legging. So January 25th for the girls night in, they launched in this color called Cabernet. So obviously like a deep red wine color they launched in Teal Me More, which is obviously like a teal color. And they launched in Onyx, which is black, which are the ones I am wearing right now. So, uh, also before I forget, if you do like these, they are on the American slash international website from a launch back in 2019. And there, they're available in the color Electric, which is the brightest green I've seen in my life. I wore these on St. Patrick's Day, it was great. And then the color hot, which is this bright pink. And like side note, electric hot and the color raspberry that we just talked about with the Rosa leggings are like my all time favorite Buff Bunny colors ever. Like they're just so bright and happy that they're amazing. But that's not everyone's cup of tea. So the last launch they came out, as I said, Cabernet, Teal Me More and Onyx, which I'm wearing right now. So some things about these leggings, I guess I might as well just show you. They are a 7 8 length. Not everybody loves that. I'm short, so I don't mind. That could be a deal breaker for you, depending on how you feel. Also, this bottom seam right here, I should say there isn't a seam. It's a raw edge. So again, some people love that, some people hate that. I love it because awkwardly, like for my proportions, I actually have kind of big calves. So when I wear leggings that have a seam here, Sometimes they like dig into my calf and then they leave that like red mark after that like A is uncomfortable, B looks super awkward. So these guys with their raw edge, as you can see, 
like no red line on my leg and I've been wearing these for a few hours now. So phenomenal. Also, they have these kind of laser cut details going all the way down the leg. So it starts around your calf, works its way around your upper leg and then down under your glutes. Let's show you on this guy. So there you go, the laser cut details start down here, turn around your leg, kind of go around the front and then they're on the back underside of your glute. So those are super pretty and just add some like visual interest. But at the same time, like I get very heated at the gym very quickly. I am just a person that gets hot incredibly fast. And I feel like these little holes, like they add an element of breathability, which I significantly appreciate because A, they look cute as hell. B, they just like let some air flow in, which is nice. So another thing about these leggings, they are made out of a fabric called Vida, and that's V-I-D-A. And I don't know who invented Vida, but that person <laughs> deserves a raise immediately. Like, I don't know what kind of black magic this is, but yeah, favorite legging, favorite material. So, oh, actually we can check. 73% polyester, 27% spandex. I mean, I technically know what that means, I don't really know what that means in terms of fabric composition, like how that works. But if I had to think of something to compare these two, so almost like think of a Lululemon Luxe Stream legging, so you know that slick performance material. But sometimes when you touch like a Luxe Stream legging, they almost feel kind of like hard or like harsh to the touch. These are that slick performance material, but they're soft. Like it's insane, it blows my mind but I'm here for it. You could actually also compare this to like a Lululemon Everlux. Cause I feel like Everlux is a bit softer than the Lux Stream. Either way, this material is black magic. I am in love with it. I am here for it. Oh, and last but not least, if you look at the back, so same thing, they have that curved kind of hem around the glutes like the roses did. And they have the little reflective Buff Bunny logo right on the back of the waist as well. So yeah, these are my favorite I'd say my favorite leggings, but like I said, like this is my favorite product Buff Bunny has ever launched, hence why I own it in literally every color that has launched. <laughs> I'm obsessed with these. Okay, so now we'll talk about the tops that go with the Vibe legging. So they actually came out with two options to match the leggings. One was called the Revolution Bra, but we're not gonna talk about that because it's literally sold out in every size and every color. But the other option is still available and that's called the Viva La Vibe Bra. So here it is in the Teal Me More and then I'm wearing it in the color Cabernet. And it did also come in the Onyx to match these and then like a light pink color as well. So the Viva La Vibe Bra, start off, it's made out of the same Vita material that we just talked about with the Vibe legging. So it matches it perfectly. If you look at the front, so one thing I notice I mean, it's called the Viva La Vibe Bra, but if you look at it, like I'm wearing this guy now, like to me, it almost looks as more of like a cropped tank top than it does a bra. Like it's got more coverage than you would imagine a bra having. So like, if you don't want to go to the gym in a bra, I think this is like a good alternative where you've got some more coverage, but it's still super cute. So if you look at the front, there we go. So here is where the elastic is under your bra line and this fabric below that elastic like there's no elastic in here. This is just material, but it does add that extra coverage. And then too, if you notice, I guess on me or on this guy, it does have like a super high neck. So that's good. You don't have to worry if you're gonna like bend over or lean over about like one of the girls popping out of their assigned seats. That's not happening here. I also think that that high neck also adds into like the intensity of the bra and like support. So sorry, high intensity and the support it has so for me personally, I would say this is at least a medium support to a high support bra. I'm a 34C, which is like pretty average, I think size wise. For me, it's a high support. Obviously, if you have a bigger chest, so probably someone like a triple D might think of it more as like a medium support because obviously they have more to support. <laughs> but on that note too, if you look at the front, they have these cute mesh panels. I would tell you that that helps with breathability, but not a lot of us are sweating out of our collarbones. And then the last thing I'll mention on the front is you see this kind of seam going down the middle. So not everybody likes that. I've talked to a lot of people who like don't enjoy that. 
I personally like it. If you're familiar with any like high support sports bras, a lot of the time they're just like a piece of fabric kind of over your chest and it ends up looking kind of like uniboobby for lack of a better term. So I feel like by putting in this seam that kind of gets rid of any potential like uniboob visual that could have been happening, which is great. So now if you look at the back of the bra, you'll notice it's basically just a straight piece of fabric, so there's no mesh, there's no straps, nothing crazy going on. Personally, I think that helps in how supportive it is, since you do have this like giant piece of fabric holding you in. And then same thing on the back as with all the other products we've talked about today, they have the metallic Buff Bunny logo. And then something I'll mention with this guy too is like, I feel like it's a nice enough top, and like because the material's kind of shiny, that it like, you could probably pair this with like a cute pair of jeans, and like wear it out out. It's like a going out outfit when we're actually allowed to go out again with COVID. But you know what I mean? Like if I can wear active wear in my regular life, that's great because it's cute and it's comfortable. So I feel like you would totally just dress this up with a pair of jeans and like go out and look super cute and still be super comfortable. So that is the Viva La Vibe bra. Okay, so the last item we are going to talk about today is something called the Dreamy Sets that Buff Bunny also released with that Girls' Night In launch. So that came with like an off-the-shoulder kind of top that is still available online, although kind of in limited sizing. They did also come with shorts, which are available in quite a few sizes, but I didn't grab them. And they came with the joggers, which I did grab, and these are also still available in quite a few sizes. So they came out in two colors. The first is bear, and that's B-A-R-E, not B-E-A-R, and that's this kind of taupey beige, like really warm caramel color. And then number two is these guys, and whoever named this collection was spot on because they called these 50 shades. Get it? Like 50 shades of gray. So super clever. Also, as I said, they're called the dreamy jogger, and like feeling them, like that's precisely how I would describe them is dreamy. Like the material is like super soft and like they're soft, but they almost feel kind of like satiny. Like it's crazy. I love them. But so getting to the joggers, you will notice, actually we'll go like this. On the front of them, they are pretty simple compared to all the other joggers that Buff Bunny releases. They don't have the kind of ankle seam or not ankle, the knee seams that the Jasmine joggers have much more simple and I think that's gone with the theme of kind of like the lounge wear. So they do have the front pockets on either side like all Buff Bunny joggers do, same as having the cuff at the ankle. Also, so you'll notice here, this is an elastic waistband. So that is really good to kind of give you that like snatched waist look everyone is looking for right now. They do also have this drawstring so you can tighten them if need be. One thing I will mention, so these were designed to be a bit kind of high waisted. I knew that going into it, but your girl has no waist. <laughs> like literally from the bottom of my rib bone to the top of my hip bone, there's maybe like one and a half inches of space. So like, I don't have a lot of space there. So these don't look quite as good on me as they would on someone that like is a normal torso length human, but they're still super cute and I still love them. Another thing to mention about the material, so like I said, it's very dreamy, it's very soft. But like these are definitely more of like a lounge around Netflix and chill. I wear them out to run errands, like go to my boyfriend's house. I wouldn't wear these to work out in just because of the material. And then I'll draw your attention to the back. So if you notice, they have two pockets on the back of the glutes. And as someone who like doesn't have as much glute mass as I would like, I feel like these pockets do a very good job in accentuating what you do have and maybe making it appear as you were a little more blessed than you actually are. I'm here for that. And then on the bottom of this one pocket, you will notice there's a silver buff bunny, which should say like the metallic logo. So it is super cute and simple. So those are the dreamy joggers. All right, so that is it for today's video. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you found this informative and I answered any questions you might have about any of these items. If you have any more questions, feel free to drop them below in the comments and I will get back to you. And I'll see you in the next one.